Don Lewis, you like a fracking site next to your nice little house? Well, look, can we just go back to the big picture? Currently, we import 49% of our gas. Uh, that's forecast to rise to over 70% by 2030. Our renewables program is failing to achieve scale and is doing so at great cost. Uh, the nuclear program uh, is off to a very slow start. Uh, so one way or another, if we're going to replace the 40% of our electricity that comes from coal, we're going to need to buy gas, and a lot of it. So the question is, do we actually want to buy it at a premium from abroad, or do we want to exploit our own resources, get some tax revenue, some jobs, and some regional development opportunities? What's the answer to that, Caroline Lucas? Well, it's the wrong question. It's posing the wrong dilemma in front of us. The point is that if we go down another dash for gas, what we're going to see is higher energy bills, not lower energy bills. We're also certainly going to see our climate um, emission reduction targets completely busted. And the choice before us isn't whether or not we have imported gas or fracked gas. The choice is whether we go for, for example, a big investment in offshore wind or gas. There was a report just this week that showed that if you went down the offshore wind route, we'd get 70,000 more jobs by 2030, we'd save ourselves £20 billion, we'd have lower fuel bills, we'd have lower emissions. That's the route we should be going down. Why has the dash for gas not resulted in higher gas prices in the United States? Indeed, uh, gas it prices has. in the United States are now a third of Europe's. They're a third of Europe's, Caroline Lucas. Well, let me just correct one thing, because George Osborne is making up facts as he goes along, and they're then being repeated. But it's not the case that gas prices in the U.S. have gone down. Over the last year, gas prices in the U.S. have doubled. And all of the evidence no, no, from no, no, Deutsche no, Bank Caroline and Lucas, else. not natural gas prices. Yes, natural they have. No, natural gas prices are falling in the United States, I promise you. Well, uh, that, that's why, that's why industry is relocating there. That's why Dow Chemicals has just closed plants in Europe and in Japan to move to cheaper well, energy to the natural CEO, gas. If you listen to the CEO of Bloomberg uh, on this issue, he is saying that gas prices have come down. But irrespective of that, certainly the case well, is have. here in the UK. Okay. Here in the UK, it is the case that a big investment in offshore wind will get our bills down much right. more effectively without all of the negative side but, effects that you get from fracking. Dan I, Lewis, yeah. uh, can we really import what's happened in the United States because if you take North Dakota which is where one of the big uh, um, shale gas and shale oil fields are a huge one I mean if you look at what the, uh, North Dakota yeah. it's got 10 people per square mile in England here which is what we're talking about it's got a thousand people per square mile often much more than that can you really do in this small island what they're trying to what they've done in a continent well, we're not going to have to do anything on the light the same scale as, as has happened in America. And if I could just come back on what Caroline said about natural gas prices, it depends on your starting point. Four years ago, natural gas prices were about the same as in the UK. Um, they're now three times lower. And I think the starting point, uh, which Caroline chose, which was the beginning of the year, yes, it's true, they have doubled, but they're still three times lower than they are here. But you can't make distinctions, and I'm glad mm. that you actually, you know, reinforced the fact that I was right in saying that from the beginning of the year, gas prices have gone up, but also you can't try and compare the US price system to the UK price system. What we need to be looking at is what's happening to prices here in the UK, and if you look at gas prices and our overall energy bills, it is gas that's been driving up people's energy bills. That's why our energy bills are so expensive. And it's not just me saying that. It's the CBI, it's the International okay. Energy Agency, well, it's Deutsche the answer, Bank. The yeah, answer and so that, this is completely the wrong way forward. Well, Caroline, if I could just uh, come back on that. Uh, the answer to that is we actually need to do the same things happen in America, where a very large amount of shale gas has decoupled natural gas prices from oil prices. And if we're to do the same here, then we would see some downwards pressure. And what about climate change? I mean, we seem to be forgetting the fact that the well, Committee on Climate Change has said categorically yeah. that if we go down this route, we will completely bust our legally binding emission reduction targets. Well, then you'd have to match that to what's happened in America. It doesn't matter what's happened in America. Well, it what's about does, the UK? The UK has well, a climate act. They have full the UK emissions. has a climate act. They have full act emissions because they've had increased shale. Uh, production, the, which has committee, replaced coal. Let's just concentrate on the UK, which we know a bit more about. The Committee on Climate Change has categorically said that if we go down this route, we will not be able to meet the targets in our legally binding Climate Act, which Britain has and the US doesn't. What is your response to that? Well, my response is, let's just stop the... Let's get the moratorium lifted and let's find out a bit more about so what we've got. let's just keep going. Well, no, because the serious point is... Uh, this is an economy that's in trouble. We need some point. great opportunities. And okay. incidentally, if you do I'm want really, to reduce really emissions, you okay. are going to have to use show gas. Hello? No, you're not. You're not. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Do you want something? <laughs> I'm still here. I mean, I'm happy to let you carry on, but we have to go. <laughs> okay. but
But anyway, Dan Lewis and Caroline Lucas, we thank you very much for that. I have never felt more redundant in my life. <laughs> Good to see you. Nice.